Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is Tuesday, October 8th, 2019. I am the Drunk Poker. It's beer time. It's outside beer time. It, it's a nice day. There's a sunshiny day. There's a bit of a breeze. Probably should have a sweater on, but uh, what are you going to do? Uh, I stopped at an LCBO that's not my normal LCBO. Does it feel weird? It's like when you go to a grocery store in another town. Everything's there. It's normal, but everything seems a little off because it's just not in the same spot. Anyways, I'm going to digress. I found four new beers to me. Uh, Always happy to do that, so let's get into it. Uh, from our friends at Bose, gotta be Bose and David's Tea. I do like tea. Didn't know that, did you? London Fog. Uh, yeah, it's a tea beer. Uh, we're using Earl Grey tea, lactose, vanilla. Okay. Now, funny part is, you guys maybe don't know this. Yet, I love Earl Grey tea. Why? Because when I was a young man, my dad and I watched the Star Trek: The Next Generations. And that was uh, Picard's drink. And Picard's coming back now with a new show. I do love science fiction, too. Just it's find out a whole bunch about Pope this week. Gay eh? new stuff all the time. How are you? How you doing? I'm starting to feel like the old man of craft beer. I look around. I mean, we've been doing this almost four years now. Um, and it just, I feel old sometimes. Definitely getting that kind of tea vibe and the vanilla. You can smell that vanilla. Okay, you know what? Again, funny thing, like we used to talk about bows a lot. I'm glad it's in a can too, by the way. What is it? 5.3%. Um, you know, they always were pushing the envelope. And back when we were Ted first started doing this, Bose was one of those ones that we loved because they always had something new coming out at the LCBO. You, I mean, if you're new to craft beer and you walk in there, they're like, oh, the choice we have. We did not have that choice back in the day. And I'm talking about four years ago, but uh, let's get into this. Uh, cheers, my friends. Okay, I mean, I can see what they were going for here. Kind of like a latte style tea beer. Um, you're definitely getting that kind of tea-like flavors. It's hard to, how do you describe Earl Grey tea? I mean, I just, hot, black. I mean, I like a little milk in mine, maybe a little sugar. I know it's blasphemy, eh? You're definitely getting that lactose sweetness in here. It's all vanilla on the back end. There is that dry tea-like hole around the whole thing. If you do not like tea, <laughs> you will not like this because it has that quality to it. And that's, you know, the black tea, the black tea leaves, dry kind of tea spice. I don't mind it. It's not my favorite beer. But I'm glad they tried it. There's going to be somebody out there that's going to go, damn, this is my beer. They're going to love the lactose, the vanilla, the tea all together. It's well balanced. It's interesting. It's just not for me. And that's okay. Listen, every beer doesn't have to be for you. All right? It's not saying it's not a good beer. It's well put together. It delivers on everything it promises. And that's huge. That's a big deal to me. The quality is there for the beer. I just don't like the flavors. They're just not bouncing together for me. And that's all right. Anyways, give it a try because it's interesting. If you like vanilla and, and lactose and you're a tea fan, this might be right up your alley. And that's a good thing. All right? It's always, always good to try and expand your horizons when it comes to beer. Cheers, my friends. To try new things. It's always a good idea. Cheers. It's nice. It's different. Difference good. 